Hi guys, Kishan is here again. So this is the continuation of my previous Spring tutorial. So we have already talked about the some of the Spring modules. So now in this video tutorial we are going to look into the I mean module like messaging. So messaging. So. Uh, before discuss about this module, let's discuss what is Stomp. Right? Stomp is a simple text-oriented messaging protocol that was originally created for scripting languages such as Ruby, Python, Perl to connect to the enterprise message brokers. The messaging module, the messaging module, provides support for Stomp as the web socket sub protocol to use in applications it also supports an annotation programming model for routing and processing a stomp message from the web socket clients now we have a last but not the least module is called test a spring test module supports the j unit testing and integration testing uh, sorry, uh, the Spring test model supports unit testing and integration testing of Spring components with JUnit and test ng. It provides provides consistent loading of Spring application context and caching of those contexts. It also provides mock objects that you can use to test your code in isolated manner. So guys, we have all most covered all modules in spring now these are the 20 jars uh, which is provided by the spring community for the 20 different modules so like uh, we have a spring aop and a spring spec so we have already uh, seen a spring aop as well as a spring specs module so this is these two jars are basically related to the spring aop module and now we have a in core container we had seen around five modules right so we had a b one module was the beans so this is basically related to that module this jar is related to that module we have in core container we have a context context support and core so first second third fourth and fifth these five jars are related to the your core container uh, core container group where the core container contains five modules so these are uh, there are there are every module contains one jar so bins means bins module context means context module context support uh, means this jar is provided by the context support module finally we have a core which is for, related to the core spring module and this is for spring expression language module now for instrumentation we there are two model uh, two jars so if you want to implement i mean class loader for a specific application server then we will have to use this jar a spring instrument jar if you want to implement instrumentation or class loader for tomcat then you need to use a spring instrument tomcat jar now in data integration module we have a jdbc so this is related this jar is related to jdbc module similarly data integration also we have a jms module right so this is related to that we have seen messaging module so this jar is related to messaging module in data access category we have orm and oxm so this two jar related to those modules now finally we had seen test module so this related this jar is, is related, this jar is related to test module in data access integration category we have a transactions transactions module right so this is related to transaction module now in web category there are four modules right so these four jars are, are related to the wave we have seen a spring mbc a spring mbc portlet and a spring wave socket so these are the four jar related to the a spring web category so so uh, let's let me show you uh, latest spring distribution file so this is the latest spring distribution file which I have downloaded from a spring website 
latest spring version is 4.2.6 so inside that there are you can see there are uh, three files right so docs basically related to documentation inside that you can see a spring uh, a, a spring framework reference so even a spring provides a book which contains around more than 800 pages so you can go through these books so this is in pdf format so you can open on the windows or any other machines now you have a epub if you have a like uh, uh, you have a smartphone or a kindle or any kind of devices so for that we have a epub file now if you want to uh, interested in the html then you can click on any link and you can get content in the html format so if you are want to study a spring then if you don't have if your computer is not connected with internet still you can study from here now if you want every content of a single page then you have a html single here entire spring content is available on the single html page so here also you can study about a spring now if you are interested to about if you are interested to study a spring documentation so this is related to the documentation now a schema so there are 15 schema provided by the spring framework these schemas basically you use in your configuration file when we write the configuration file then these are the schema so most of the schema i will see in uh, next video tutorial we have AOP, Beans, Cache, Context, JDBC, JE, JMS, Lang, MBC, OXM, Task, Tool, TX for Transaction Management, Util, and WebSocket. These are the schema. So if you go inside this, then there you can see there are a lot of schema files, right? So this is for Spring 2, 2.5. There are different versions. Latest version is 4.2. So for backward compatibility, they have kept previous a spring works version schema as well now finally you have leaves which provides you the all uh, a spring binary library so when we talk about the spring aop module then you have a aop release jars and cross for every jar you have a java doc as well as source jar as well so as i said a spring contains 20 modules every module contains one jar right and every jar release jar has a corresponding java doc as well as source jar so if i select all and right click then you will get the 60 jars 60 jars you don't need to add all jars in your class path depends what what models you are using in your uh, applications so you need to add those jars suppose if you are using uh, only I mean core spring then you, need, you might need to use a spring beans a spring context a spring context support uh, a spring expression language uh, and a spring core five jars you need to add the rest of the jars you, you, you don't need to use as so regarding this I mean libraries we'll talk in next video tutorial so that's all I have in this tutorial guys so see you in next video tutorial Till that, happy learning. Bye guys.